Uh, the spring when I planted uh, potatoes ended up with about 14 seed potatoes extra no place to go with them and since smart pots and grow bags are all the rage right now it seems thought I'd try this little experiment took some uh, extra wire that I had laying around some landscape fabric and I made my own little grow bag well actually it's not too little it's about three feet across and I started my potatoes started them in there and I put them even with the ground and started piling soil compost on top of them and right now that's up to right about there these are four inches so it'll be four eight twelve sixteen a little over sixteen inches of soil that I put in there and uh, we're gonna open that up today and see what I got so I'll take these uh, cut these tops off and get them out of the way and then we'll come back and dig them out okay got the tops cut off start dismantling this thing see I just fold that cloth over the top this fit just about perfect for size of this wire I had close pins to keep it in place The variety I got growing in here is German Butterball and uh, they've been a pretty good potato. I dug some up out of the regular potato patch, had them fried, had them baked, had them boiled and uh, they're pretty good in, in everything. The fried was real good, boiled was real good, baked was pretty good, not quite as good as a regular baker but uh, they were good. A little bit tight down the bottom. Here we go. All right. Get this wire off of here. And go down. The, oh, there's some far right on here. Okay. Get this off, and let's see what we got here. Pouring right out here. Okay. Bring this in a little bit closer and see what we can get here. So, potato itself has got a little bit of a russeting on there, and that's what they're supposed to have. The nice thing about these in here and in the garden is that uh, potatoes stay in. Inside, under the ground, they don't tend to pop up. This is about the size of the seed potatoes I had. I put in there. Well, they're not real big so far, but uh, quite a few in there. A little bit small. These were, uh, I have to say, these corn. I had these kind of behind where my corn was, so they've been in the shade. The ones out of the garden are going to be have been bigger than this. Looks like that'd be a good size to can one. To... Yeah, these aren't real big. They get bigger. Uh, That's not too bad of a size there, but uh, yeah, that, that, uh, it's been a wet year, so it never really got too dry on me. So I'll continue digging these out, and uh, we'll come back and see what we got. Uh, I'll, Getting to the end here, and uh, 
Let's get some good ones out of here. This size ain't too bad. They were more like that. That's what I would expect. They're more in the middle and on the back side there. So I don't know if it's more moist back there or what, but so far, it's not as good as I expected. A lot of earthworms in there. Try to get them all out of here. Usually find some and I'm trying to till it up and all of a sudden, yeah, that's a knobby one. Looks okay though. So like I say, some of these are going to get canned I think. I haven't never tried canning potatoes and uh, I thought this year I'd try some. I doubt if I'll save any of these for seed potato. Uh, well, two reasons. Might want to try a different variety next year. Another reason, usually to buy them, they're generally disease free. If you buy them from a reputable outfit, yeah, it's not too bad there. And keep these smaller ones for seed potatoes. That could be a kind of a crap shoot as far as whether they make it all the way till next spring. Okay, I think we got them all up. Yeah, here's a few. Okay, we'll rake that out later. Take a look at what we got here. So, not too bad. I was kind of hoping for more that big bin. Don't know if I'll do that again, but it was worth a try. Like I said, there's a few nice ones in here, and they're too bad there. All these, these the good size for boiling. And uh, one last thing here, let's cut one open, I'll show you what they look like inside. German butter balls, and the reason they call them butter ball. It's got a nice yellow color in there, similar to Yukon Gold. I'd say maybe even nicer, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to try focusing this and let's see if we can get that info. I'm not sure if that'll show up real good, but see it's got a yellowish color. The idea behind that is uh, it's kind of a psychological trick that you can play on yourself thinking they're got more butter on them than they do. Okay, that's that little pile of potatoes. And uh, bring around here and check out some that are growing in the regular garden. Okay, see I've been digging some of these up already. A little tomato plant growing in there. You know, these potatoes here are definitely done. The other ones uh, we just dug up, they had a little bit of green yet. They weren't completely dead. You can get a lot of these. I guess you can save the seeds out of them. You got little tiny seeds and start your own potatoes. If you can see that in there or not. if I'm going to do that. Get some of this out of the way here. Let's get far enough back so I don't spear any. I usually end up spearing the biggest, nicest ones when I do this. Okay. Well, not too much bigger, I guess, huh? A little consistently. Bigger that one doesn't have too many under under it. There's another one. Yeah, way over here. Kind of spread out. These spread out a little bit. Yeah, let's dig the next one up next to it there too.
just for a little spot check, we'll check the other variety I got in here. A red potato, sangria. See what's nice? They're, they're deep. These potatoes are nice and deep. They're not coming up on the top, turning green. That's not a bad size. Should keep okay. A little smaller. Those are good size. You can bake those or boil them. Okay, get the idea there. Probably a couple more in there. We'll find them later. Uh, I'll check these sangrias here. This is a pretty nice red one. Got a few of these up. This has got a real white flesh. And these grow, try to get this ground up without disturbing it too much. These grow right at the base of the plant. They don't seem to spread way out, which is kind of nice, especially if you want to get some new potatoes. Look at that. Those are, that's a nice red potato there. Uh, I'm not going to cut one of these. The flesh is real white. And these are real good. Thought the flavor was real good. Potatoes I got from Seed Savers. Not a whole lot under that one, but oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six under that one. So there you go. Um, let's Potatoes, I'm not going to dig all these out and show you what we all got. You know, you all know what potatoes look like. I just wanted to show you what I planted this year. Sangria, the reds. Real good for baking, boiling. Uh, these are really excellent for boiling. Frying. And that's that. Next year we'll see which ones I plant. I like to try different stuff every year, but I try to get ones that are resistant to diseases and uh, good keepers.